Hi guys, uh, I've just purchased this FT450D. Uh, this video is to show you how to get it working with the CAT cable and the software, the PCC software from Yesu. Okay, I'll just go through some of the settings that I've uh, I've done on my radio to set up for uh, the CAT cable. So I'll take you into the uh, the menu. The cat rate. That's my setting for my cat rate. We'll take you into the uh, the cat tot. I know mine's set to ten. There you go, set to 10. The cat RTS, that's set to enable. And that's uh, basically it really. So uh, we're all good to go and um, basically it's a case now of loading the software on i will put a link in the description from where you can get the software from it's from the yesu website and also i'm using the uh, the cat cable um, which i bought online which is from the uk so i didn't have to wait too long for it to come through uh, you can buy the lead anywhere really but i just bought it from a firm in the uk because i wanted it quicker than sending off to china um, so basically, uh, if you've got your lead, or um, you can go to the next part of the video, and we'll show you how we connect everything up on the radio. Right, guys, we'll go on to the next stage. Uh, this is the firm where I bought my lead from. I don't know if that's going to focus or not. But that's the firm that I got the lead from. Didn't take too long to come through. They give you a nice CD with it as well, uh, which has got the drivers on, etc. Uh, if you haven't, if you haven't got a uh, CD-ROM, don't worry. Uh, they also give uh, instructions there where you can go onto one of their their websites and download the drivers, etc. For the uh, the cat lead. Okay, we'll go on to the uh, the computer. So bear with me a little bit here. What I've had to do is when I started to run the software, I pinned a icon at the bottom, which is you can't see it very well, but it's down here is the cat controller software because uh, one didn't display on my desktop. So uh, I created one down the bottom and pinned it to it. Right, we'll start the software off. And when you start the software, I'll just make this a little bit bigger for you so you can see what I'm seeing. When you connect the software and the cat lead, what you need to do is to click here where it's COM because you set it up on here. You select the COM port that you're going to use and the board rate and my board rate is set to there we go 38400 my com port might not be the same as yours but you can just set that up whichever works for you okay then once you've done that you can then uh, click that and then the radio bursts into life let's turn this up so you can hear you can change the bands And as you can see on the radio, so it's quite handy to uh, to 
you can also record your voice as well for your voice messages uh, the voice mechanism for the frequency you're on So there's lots of features you can use on the software. It makes it a little bit easier to use. The DSP features. You've got your notch. What you can do then is just to uh, wheel up and down. Moves a lot quicker. You've got your uh, DNR, your width, uh, your contour filter as well. You can alter the cut, there's the gain control, frequency high and low. So you can do quite a bit with this software. I, I quite like it actually. It was a little bit tricky to get going at first, but once once you, you cracked it, um, it's happy days. So say you do need the driver for it, uh, and away you go. Oh, you can also use the tuner as well. I haven't got mine connected at the moment because I'm using an external tuner. Uh, but if you're using the tuner that's built into it, you just click that and it'll tune. So there we are. And the, the actual cable, it's uh, it'll work with Ham Radio Deluxe um, for all your, your needs on the data modes. And that, that's about it, really. Set the mode up and down. There we are, there's not much else I can really tell you. Um, just play with it, see what you think. Um, if you think it's for you, go for it. If not, well, no worries. Right, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it very interesting. And uh, I did try and find a few videos on this on YouTube, but unfortunately there was only one floating about from uh, an Italian gentleman uh, that was explaining various different things with the software. So I thought I'll do my own take on it and... Uh, show you what it is in layman's terms hope you found it useful and we'll catch you again soon bye bye for now